Hi, you're listening to a student-focused episode of the Sociology Show podcast. If you're studying the subject at GCSE, A-level, foundation, degree, or any other discipline, then this podcast could be of help to you. If you have a question for the show, then you can email the Sociology Show podcast at gmail.com and one of the teachers, lecturers, examiners, or experts will answer your question for you. You can sponsor the show on the GoFundMe page and subscribe on all the usual podcast platforms. If you're going to class, going to the gym, or just chilling, put your headphones in and let's be sociology geeks together, eh? Hello and welcome to the Sociology Show podcast. This is a student takeover episode. And so the guest for this episode is Amy Ellsworth and she attends Black Fen Sixth Form in Sig Cup. And she sent me a fantastic audio all about anti-Semitism in education. And I think this is a really important issue because actually there's quite a lot in the textbooks about institutional racism, for example, um, but not so much about anti-Semitism. So a really, really important issue. And she's done a huge amount of research on this and so thank you again to Amy Ellsworth from Blackfen Sixth Form for for sending in this file. Um, if you are interested, if you would like to appear on the Sociology Show podcast, then you can do exactly the same as Amy did. Just record yourself, um, MP3 ideally, but even if you just record yourself on your phone, on your iPhone, and then if you send the file to the Sociology Show podcast at gmail.com, I will have a listen. If I need you to do any editing on it, I can do that for you. And then I can uh, get it out for you and allow lots of people to be able to listen to your to your words. Just a few things before we go over to Amy. Um, please do add us on social media if you haven't yet. So we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram, and most importantly, I'm trying to grow the YouTube channel at the moment. So if you do find us on YouTube, if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic. Also, a bit of a request, the Sociology Show podcast relies on really important donations to keep it going. The hosting costs keep on rising each year. It's very expensive to host all the podcasts and also do the promoting and advertising. Um, so far, I've had an amazing amount of donations, which have almost got to the target. So we have got a target of £1,000 to meet all of the expectations and costs to be able to host it. So far, we've got to our £803, which is absolutely amazing. But I'd love to push it over and just get over to that last little bit. So if you can donate even as much as £5, then please do go to gofundme.com. Do find the sociology show on there. And as I say, even if you can just donate five pound, I can send you a sociology show pen as a little thank you. So without further ado, let's go over to a student takeover episode. This is Amy Ellsworth talking about anti-Semitism in education. Enjoy. Hi, guys. So as you've seen by the title today, I'm going to be discussing the topic of anti-Semitism in the UK education system. So I noticed that this topic was not on the syllabus for A-level or GCSE sociology. Um, so yeah, I've actually, I'm just going to put out a disclaimer. All the research that I've used and statistics have been made by other people. Um, and also, I'm not Jewish myself, so I apologise. I can't say I've actually experienced these. And if you have, I'm very, very sorry. But um, all I'm doing is I'm trying to raise awareness into this because I just don't think it's really talked about enough. Um, so what I've noticed in schools I've been to is that swastikas um, are predom- like are very commonly found on walls. Um, even on the curriculum, literary pieces such as A Merchant of Venice and Dorian Gray, um, which I'm currently studying at A-level, do are very quite anti-Semitic. In Dorian Gray, it's not so much, it's mostly derogatory term, uh, terms used to describe a um a minor jewish character in the novel he's not actually a main character but it's still anti-semitic and the match of venice a play that throughout it you can see anti-semitism um and then also the fact that in assemblies and history lessons um the only thing that's really talked about in regards of jewish culture is the holocaust which it um i will um be reading out a report later on in the pod which um discusses the fact that um mentions the holocaust can actually make jewish peoples more susceptible to being bullied by other peoples which is obviously disgusting so yeah um as well what i'd like to talk about is um the amount of crime rates and incidents in not just in schools but in society that has been made aware 
So I've picked out just two different um, statistics. So in 2021, the UK had a 78% increase in physical assault against members of the Jewish community since 2020. So every year um, it's increased by 78%, which is horrible. Um, and a February 2022 Community Security Trust report showed that anti-Jewish hate crime rose by 34% to 2,255 reported cases in 2021, which has been the highest um, recorded over a calendar of a year. Um, and obviously, if you take sociology, you know that not all crimes go reported, so the, the actual figure of this is probably much higher so yeah just from these figures alone you can tell there has been a rise in anti-semitic um in anti-semitic reports um recently and so there's actually a report later that gives you reasons as to why obviously you can't pinpoint it to why because it's always existed it's just in recent years more people are reporting it okay so the first thing i'm actually going to be discussing um is um from the website called the spectator so you can actually look at this report yourself um and the person who wrote this was the writer for the jewish chronicle which is a jewish newspaper and it's it shares a personal account of um someone called i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing his name right jake simons or jake simmons I'm honestly unsure about that i'm sorry um, so he shares an account of which his own children has ex- um, have experienced anti-Semitism in the education system. So he um, talks about how his daughter um, and her experience, someone actually refused to sit next to her in probably a seating plan um, because of the fact she was Jewish. And you can find the quote of what the child actually said on the website. Um, I'm going to leave out a lot of um, what was said to the report um, because I I honestly don't really feel comfortable reading a lot of um, what was said out. Um, so as well on the playground, his son experienced hate um, and he said it peaked during the time of Hanukkah um, and his son experienced pro-Nazi verbal abuse and they use Jew as a derogatory term and surrounded the word with negative connotations as well as turning it into a chant to make him feel uncomfortable and whenever they'd see him in corridors or in the playground they would use this chant. Um, He also, as mentioned earlier, found problems with schools and the swastika Um, and he also, um, which I find is a lot of a lot of children, not just children, adults as well, use it as when they're called out for something, they say it's just dark humour. And he found that um, when children were picked up for picked up upon for using anti-Semitic um, like abuse, um, they just said, oh, it's just dark humour. It's just a joke, which obviously it's not. Um, so he then also proceeded to talk about the Community Security Trust report, as mentioned earlier. As well as this, he also included the statistic that um, on university campuses, um, anti-Semitism rose by 59%, which reached record levels. So that's um, on the website As mentioned before, The Spectator, you can go read that yourself. And then I'm going to just quickly move on to the next study that I found. There's an actual um, piece of research by a sociologist. So I found this piece of research on the Henry Jackson Society. It's very, very useful for A-level sociology if you're trying to find additional research that your teacher hasn't taught you. Um, So this was, I think, done by Charlotte Littlewood, um, in which she, um, for context... Um, wanted to raise the point that anti-Semitic incidents at secondary schools have almost trebled over the past five years, according to a new report by the Henry Jackson Society. Um, And this is just literally a summary of what they found. And then I'll go into a bit more detail later. More than a thousand incidents have been uncovered um, and they use the freedom of information requests because obviously they're researching schools, um, so for data protection and ethical issues. Um, and it was a large scale investigation. Um, so 
in their findings, they found that 76 instances um, were so serious that teachers had to report them to police and there were even 13 physical assaults that they found regarding to anti-Semitism as well, which is a very interesting fact is that fewer than 1 in 20 schools actually have a policy to deal with anti-Semitism, which is honestly disgusting. Every school should have a policy that deals with anti-Semitism. It shouldn't just be fewer than one in 20 so yeah um so for this study um there were actually 300 submissions for secondary schools to take part in england but of these 1315 schools which is around 40 percent of what they actually wanted of the schools they wanted to participate actually responded um and yeah so examples of what they asked was just typical um to asked them to report any anti-Semitic incidents, physical assaults, um, and whether they actually have policies to prevent this from happening. So there was obviously quantitative data um, produced from the statistics that you see um, of how many reports were made, but they also collected some qualitative data, um, which shows about how the instances what their meanings were and why people's um actually experienced this so they narrowed it down to just four reasons so if they were holocaust or nazi related and then obviously um israel and palestine related um and then jewish conspiracy theories or non-identifiable um so about the jewish conspiracy theories as well this is just extra what i want to talk about was um, mostly on TikTok. Um, over recent months, there's been a lot of neo-Nazi propaganda that has been spreading on TikTok. Um, I'm not sure whether it was mostly to do with the whole Andrew Tate Matrix, um, escape the Matrix kind of trends that were that were set. Um, as well as this, I think as well, a lot of people were using the example of the Rothschild family in order to spread anti-Semitism and kind of get away with it on social media. Um, so that kind of did see a spark in um, anti-Semitism online. And this was probably carried into schools as well. So because um, TikTok is obviously very, very widely used platform amongst people in school. So if you're wondering about the Jewish conspiracy theories, that's probably what they might have been talking about um, relating to that. Um, so over the five years, the number of reported anti-Semitic incidents was 1,077. Um, and obviously this was just from that, from that study. It wasn't from all schools, um, nationally. This was just from there. And obviously some do not go reported. Um, so from 2017 to the year of 2021-22 of the academic year, um, there was a 173% increase of anti-Semitic incidents that were reported and 1.2% of these included physical assault. So the fact that they it's not just verbal abuse, it's physical as well, something needs to be addressed about that. Um, and over five years, 79% of incidents, which is 7.42, were actually reported to the police because of how serious they were. Now, one of the most concerning reports I've actually seen that was produced by this was that a student from, from this study was actually convicted of a terrorist offence as they were plotting an attack for a synagogue. And that was uncovered in this report. And so, obviously, the police uh, had to respond to that incident. So that is disgusting. Terrorism in schools and plotting terrorist attacks on the place of worship of Jewish people. So that is... I honestly, when I saw that, I was in shock. I didn't even know whether I should include it in that because... Include it in this pod because it is so sensitive and it's honestly appalling. Relating to policies as well, um, of the schools that responded, 47, which equates to 3.4% um, of the schools that were involved, stated that they actually had a p- policy that specifically refers to anti-Semitism. Um, so 
not even four percent of schools have a policy against anti-semitism um wow that that statistic just says it for for itself um and also um in regards to um what the incidents were related about 58 percent um of the incidents were holocaust or nazi related 1.5% 1.5% were Israel-Palestine related and 1.5% referred to Jewish conspiracy theories and it's probably raised a lot since then through the use of TikTok and the trends that have been happening over recent months. Um, and as well, just re- um, not including this study, but since the Israel-Palestine um, debate has kind of t- taken over social media and um, there's been a 34% increase in um anti-semitic incidents relating to that topic and f- the study also said that it was mostly schools in north london um that reported the most anti-semitism um, incidents um and obviously living in london i know that um north london is predominantly a jewish area um if you look at statistics um so there's probably more jewish students that attend in you know, state comprehensive schools um around that area which could explain why they have the most um incidents reported because obviously if there's a dense population in there then the statistics speak for itself but i'm pretty sure the out of the schools are investigated some areas include like kent um manchester north london um, places like that so if you do want to look at this um, study in more detail um, then it is on the on the henry jackson society you literally put it into google and there's so many other studies on there that can help you for your sociology thank you for your time if you listen to this um and yeah keep studying sociology guys and good luck on your exams if you're taking them The Sociology Show podcast relies on the kind contributions of sponsorship and donations. If you enjoy the show, then you can help with the hosting costs by donating as little as £5 on the GoFundMe page. Simply visit uk.gofundme.com and search for The Sociology Show. If you can donate, then you will be sent a Sociology Show pen as a small thank you for your continued support of the show. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the podcast. If you would like to contact the show or be interviewed, then please email the Sociology Show Podcast at gmail.com.